Our eight-year-old Eli loves airplanes and all things flying. In fact, his ultimate dream is to become a pilot when he grows up. He has been asking us to take him down to our small little local airport so that he can watch a couple planes take off and land. Today is a beautiful sunny day, so we have agreed to take him down there. But little does he know that we actually have a very big surprise waiting for him there. We are meeting our friend Chad, who is a pilot, and I am feeling very, very nervous about this. All right, dude, we're here. You want to see if we can actually see some planes take off? Yeah. You excited? <laughs> All right, let's go find some airplanes. There we go. Is that a cool plane you like? Okay, so Eli, here's the here's the thing. We brought you here because not only are you gonna go flying in that airplane, but you're going to fly that airplane. Wait, I am? Yeah, yes. is that exciting? <laughs> so uh, this is our friend Chad. Yeah, it's really good up there. How are you? I like your jacket. Thank you. So you got some work, man. There's your checklist. Don't let us down. Relying on you. Cool. Let's start over here at the notes, okay? So you've got a checklist. You're going to help me out in the airplane. So rub your hand along the edge. Make sure you don't see any cracks. So then just do a walk around the airplane. Put your hand on the airplane. You walk around and feel the wing. Make sure nothing feels broken, no dents. Piece is coming off. Don't hit your head. You happy with that? All right, cool. Cool. Well, you're going to do some of the work, okay? And when we get up there, after we take off, I'm going to let you fly the airplane. Good? There you go, climb in. You excited? Yeah. Are you nervous? No. Just excited? That's good. That's the look of excitement and confidence right there. I'm gonna talk confidence in her aircraft. That's what she's giving you, that's what that face is. So while Eli and Melissa are up, hopefully having a really fun time, a very safe time, the rest of us are sitting here in the airport terminal, if you can call it that, waiting for them to get back. Should be a really <laughs> short flight. Now, ordinarily, am I a hover parent? I mean... I can kind of be a hover parent. <laughs> ordinarily, I don't even like the kids to be riding in vehicles with people that I don't know um, if somebody else is driving. It just kind of makes me nervous and uneasy. So for this to be happening, is kind of a big deal. It's it was too good of an opportunity to pass up and ordinarily, like I said, I, I would have a hard time relinquishing control and allowing somebody else to take my kids off in an airplane. But Eli is such a massive, massive aviation fan. He loves flying, he loves Top Gun, he loves all things planes right now. So uh, very, very grateful to Chad to come up here, provide us with this opportunity and show our family a really great time, especially Eli. Life is wonderfully beautiful. 
What do we think the chances are that there's just like a ring of vomit on mom or Eli's shirt when they get out? I mean, mom's more likely. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, she does get motion sick very easy. I was like this close from throwing up all over inside a 1949 Navy on. I'm so glad I didn't because it's carpet and I would have been forever embarrassed and I never would have been able to see Chad ever again. I'm happy to be back on the ground. Eli did a fantastic job. Dude, how was it? Good. So good. He like flew the whole time. You flew the whole time? We did zero G G's. My hands went numb for some reason. I have something. Dude, nice job, man. How was your first flight? Good. What'd you do? Did you do any uh, like barrel rolls or like fly upside down at all? No. No, but what did you do? Did you fly the plane straight? Yeah. Dude, so I, cool. I like Thank you. You bet, bud. Good job. Yeah, he flew basically the whole way he there. Did? Yeah. That's awesome, man. He did great. Kira and Kaimani are going flying now. <laughs> so I'm staying outside and getting some fresh air. I clearly do not handle small planes <laughs> well. So I'm just going to take a breather while they fly. Okay, so my stomach is starting to feel a little bit better. I came into the car to grab some water and my afternoon athletic greens. I always bring the to-go packets with me whenever I know I'm gonna be gone all day because it is my midday pick-me-up. The best part of athletic greens for me is that it's a daily ritual that I will actually stick to. It is so easy. You could just do one of these little travel packs, eight ounces of water, or if you're at home, you can buy it in the canister. That's how I use it at home. I just do a single scoop. I am making a massive mess with this. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Then you just screw on the lid, give it a shake, and you are good to go. Athletic Greens is seriously the perfect all-in-one greens powder packed with 75 vitamins and minerals and whole food source superfoods and probiotics in one simple daily serving. I absolutely love that Athletic Green supports your gut health because that makes you feel better. It supports your immune system, your energy, your focus, even your recovery. To check out Athletic Greens for yourself, just go ahead and click the link down in our description box below. You are going to get a year free of the D3K2 plus five free travel packs with your first purchase. This is absolutely a game changer for your immune system. Athletic Greens will give you everything that you need for your body to have optimal performance every single day, even if that is just recovering from a really scary airplane ride. So remember, Athletic Greens is going to give our community a free immune supporting year of vitamin D plus five free travel packs with your first purchase. Now that I've gotten a little bit of vitamins in me, I'm definitely taking the rest of this with me. I'm gonna go see if I can see their airplane coming back. Kara, was it fun? She did fine. Good. Oh, good. <laughs> I was a little worried about her, but she did fine. Good. Was it fun, Kara? Uh -huh. Alright, go ahead and hop out. Alright, last flight of the day is Jeremy and Nevaeh. This has been so incredible.
So we made it, we're back. Chad took us up one last time. Navea got to do the majority of the flying while we were up. How was that? That was so cool. That was such a cool experience. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> it was uh, cool to watch her do that. I don't know that I could have done it. You said you felt like you had pretty good control of things though, right? Yeah, I mean, I honestly felt more comfortable doing that than I do driving a car. <laughs> good. <laughs> You can be my wingman anytime. You can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> it's what my dad would have done. Thank you again. Seriously. Yeah, you that was so awesome. Thanks Good. for taking all of us oh, out. I'm glad great. you guys came. That was fun. Yeah. We had the most intense flight, he said. Was confirmed. Good. Upside down. Oh, it was gnarly. That was so cool. <laughs> did you fly? I did. I got to fly. Thank you. You bet. You're welcome. Shake his hand, man. Handshake. Yeah, Anytime. Good job. You did good. You did good. She's crazy. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Thanks again, awesome. Chad. Yeah, you bet. Really appreciate you bet. it. Here he goes. So cool. Eli. Best, best day ever? Best day ever. <laughs> dinner time and I'm tired and I don't want a lot of dishes tonight so I'm going to let you guys in on a family secret called Minestra. It's a Greek family favorite. You make it in one pot. It costs like $10 to make. It's super easy and kids are basically guaranteed to love it. So you can make it with or without chicken but all you do is dice up some chicken breasts if you're going to use chicken. Otherwise just skip that step. With the chicken you just salt and pepper to taste, drizzle with a little olive oil and then you're going to take a carton of chicken broth and pour that in. I'm doubling this recipe because there's six of us and I like to use it for lunch for the next day, but if there's only two of you or four of you, just use one carton. Ingredient four is diced or sauced tomatoes. I like to go half and half, so I do one can of diced and one can of sauced. Once your chicken is cooked, all you do is dump in your orzo. Again, we are making a double recipe, so we're going to be dumping in two boxes of orzo pasta. It looks like rice, but it's noodles. And then you just simply stir it up until the noodles are soft, and you are done. It is as simple as that, but do not stop stirring because it absolutely will stick to the bottom of the pan. This week, a little boy's dream came true. A dream that he didn't even know was possible at eight years old. A dream that honestly scares me a bit. I used to try to talk him into being a dentist, but not this one. This little one wants to be a fighter pilot. I suppose if your dreams don't scare your mother at least a little though, maybe you're not aiming high enough. It's amazing to me that a boring old week where we were just waiting on building supplies to come in ended up turning into, as Eli put it, the best day ever. 